Oh, she's a chilly morning. She's 40, 48 degrees. And that was my first cast, so we're right into them right off the bat. Little fella? Yeah, good start though. That's the first cast, though. I mean, that's not too bad. You got one? Yep. There we go, double header. It still counts as a double header. There you go, darling. Doesn't know he's small. He might not be. Huh? Oh, he thinks he's he thinks he's 400 pound. Oh look look look, look there's there, there's him and there was one right behind. Oh, him. I see another see one him? under him. Yeah. Right underneath him. Yeah, I saw one under him. He's still there. I've got hit three times coming across here. Didn't get any of them. Well, it's not a bad little fish. They got it, Rick. Yeah. No, that's a good start to the morning right there, Ron. That's a that's a lot faster action than we've had the last well, I'm few trips. You. you want to see stripers though? This this active car is up front here. All you can see is lines of fish going by on the screen. It's actually the first time we've seen uh, numbers this year. Here Look at them are. off the side of the boat. Very very impressive. Look at that. That's unbelievable. Hey, okay. just hit it. Backed off for a second. Oh, that one's got some meat to it, Rick. I think. I think so. Always a pleasure to get a net out. Yeah. Oh. A bit. yeah, reach, reach, reach. Not as big as I thought. Yeah, no, that's solid. Boy, he ate it, didn't he? He, he, uh, he took her. So we're four for four. Four casts, four bass. <laughs> that's a nice size. It's a lime green minnow bait. Looks like a little fish. And it's just the line, got a little segmented back on it here a little bit. It's soft. We're throwing barb the barbless hooks. I brought a couple of heavier rods just in case. There we go. Come on, darling. Just another schoolie. I say just. Well, he's got a buddy. Maybe get Ron to do his net thing again. <laughs> no, I'm just go. kidding. I'm just kidding. I was thinking that two for one last week with Rob. Yes, sir. Come here. We're up here today on the on the Miramichi River, and the striper run is on full swing right now. And one of the regs up here you got to be really careful of single barbless hook. So we we've, we've got all our barbs pinched off. Uh, a couple of them were really good. I had to grind them off. But yeah, you got to. That's just the regs up here. It makes for easy release. If you do get one in your hand, it's an easy release from you too. So lots of benefits to it. Uh, you get the fish in quick and get it back in the water right away. That's a lot, a bunch of what we're seeing on that active target are, are these smaller fish coming up through and they just come up in the, by the hundreds when they're moving through. God, <laughs> you try to get a hold of them just doing that spin on the hook. But again, single barbless hooks again, it's, a, it's real easy to get those hooks out. Not a big guy. Oh, he's not bad. That's a good size net. Yeah, yeah, we'll net this one. Okay. Oh, that might. Oh, that's a keeper, right? Yeah, that's a good one right yeah, there. That's a keeper right there. Up the, get a, Got him? Yeah. Up the. So, just for comparison, what a legal fish, we'll measure this and see what it comes out to. 62. So. So just so that was that's 62 centimeters. So the slot limit is 50 to 65. I just got lit up. <laughs> well, bring him back here. Here, test your netting skills. There you go. Same as it. Two. Oh, my, I'm undone. Or some weight there. Yeah, that's a twofer. So mine's unhooked. Reach in there and we get yours unhooked right in the corner of the mouth. Yes, Got him. Go up and sort that out. And the ones up on the flat are spawning, but these guys are just right tucked down on the bottom, deeper water. A little bigger schoolie. We've caught them smaller than this before, but these saltwater fish boys, I'll tell you, they, they just put up a fight. There's no, no halfway measures about it. 
it's a medium heavy seven footer but it has a, it has a it's the action would be on the heavier side of medium heavy i think i'm throwing a jack all four and a half inch rhythm leg full so just a white belly with greeny silver back i was helping with that and i just lifted the rod up and this guy was swimming around in circles down there there you go. You're just having a taste. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how, what size it is. Hard Odds to tell are this, you got a striper. Yeah, I got a striper. Hard to tell with this rod. It's got a lot of beef to it. So. Yeah, that's a heavy rod. Oh, no, it's just a small one. Schooly? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Had a buddy with him. Yeah. There we go. Oh, self-release. Is that a big one, Rick? No. No. Yeah, I just, think they're up there up there further. They went by. He's just a wee bit bigger than the other ones. There it is. Well, just changing out uh, changing out one of the lures to uh, an Arkansas shiner. It's a uh, fluke. I may have discovered that color. Yeah, I, I would say. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you. Oh, he's actually going for the bottom. <laughs> he, he, this oh. might actually be pretty good. Yeah, well, yeah, oh, no, he's taking line. Great. No, he's not taking line because I got that drag cinched straight down tight. Yeah. This feels like the biggest fish I've had on today. Okay. How can you not love it? This is a pretty stout Shimano rod, too. Boy, she, yeah, she's a good one. There you go. Oh, yeah, he's a... And he's self-released. Look at that. Yeah, he's like... Uh, yeah. I'd say he's very high 50s. Get some beef on his bones. Okay, hold still, buddy. Look at the big mark on him. Something's had a hold of him. Uh, he is 59. Yeah, throw me. Oh, look at them all. There's mostly 20 of them behind that fish. There we go. Yeah, maybe not. Got the hook come out. Didn't. Always oh, nice when it hangs up in the net. Yeah, they're taking it quite far down. That's Again, Barb was a big help. That whole thing was down. That, that was about four or five inches inside his throat. 52. So that, that would be right on the, just inside the slot if a guy was gonna keep it. And anyway, we're gonna put that one right back in the water. Come on. Oh, I almost had a double header rod. I saw that rod go up. Yeah. Oh, he's still after it. Oh yeah, well there's thousands of them down there. Well, there we go. Yeah. It looks pretty serious. Well, it looks, uh, yeah, it looks like it's serious, but it's, uh, Oh, well, it's not a bad size. Well, you want a net or? No, I think we can get him in. I would say that's probably yeah, around 50. Um, maybe, not quite maybe. Maybe. This, this doesn't feel big either. This feels like another schoolie. Oh, he's got 10 buddies with him too. There's yeah. a whole there's a whole school of schoolies. Imagine that. Yeah, he had a whole pile of buddies come up with him. I don't want that hook in me barbless or not. Thank you. Well, think about that sand, sand you get cast about a half mile. Half a mile. I got another striper on. Imagine that. that. Small one. I don't know. I always seem to have good luck with that old sand eel. I don't know why. Schoolie. Oh, 
Nice little fish. Yeah, they're nice fish. There's a whole school of them right out in front of the boat, about 30 feet. This guy's got no company. He must be an outcast. The other ones have all come in with a bunch with them. Oh, no, there's his buddy. Size? <laughs> his buddy just come up underneath him. Small or big, Rick? Yeah, he looks okay. That? He, yeah. No, I don't think. No. He looked bigger. He looked bigger. His buddy underneath him looked big, too. Come on, stop. That's one argument for netting the things. They just twist and turn so much when you're trying to grab them. They do, eh? You get a five odd hook in your hand. I don't care if it's barbless or not. You're gonna, you're gonna have an owie. Size? Smally this time. It's well, it's hard to tell with the current and stuff. You want a net? Oh, that's a nice one, Rick. Okay. Ready? Oh. <laughs> there you go. Nice scoop. Boy, he's not that big, but boys, he. Uh, he looks big enough. That's a nice chunk. He's a picture taking fish. Look at that. Just look where I got him. Uh, he's 55. Your call. Yeah, we'll throw him in the 50 side. The guy was smoking. That was tough. It doesn't feel like a big one. They all feel like a big one for a second or two. But he's not. Come back here. I'm, I guess he thought I insulted him. He's going to go for the bottom. <laughs> I said he wasn't big, and down he goes. Yeah. He's not that big. He just fight. He's full of fight. Yeah, that's a good-looking fish. Yeah, no, he's full of fight. And they see that. That just fell out. Just like we keep talking about those barbless hooks, that just fell out. I'm throwing exactly the same as what Ron just tied on. So far, it seems to be the color. Um, that chartreuse bait he had on earlier uh, was doing okay, but we only had the one somebody left in the boat the other day. So it's the only one we had. So this darker color seems to be doing the trick right now. So we'll stick with it. I don't know how, what size it is. Hard Odds to tell are this, you got a striper. Yeah, I got a striper. Hard to tell with this rod. It's got a lot of beef to it. So. Yeah, that's a heavy rod. Well, no, it's just a small one. Schooly? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Had the buddy with him. Yeah. There we go. Oh, self-release. And Ron's in the one too. You watch Ron will bring in a 65 or 70 centimeter one. This is a this seems to be the dominant size. Oh, he's gone. He's gone? Yeah. Uh, we fished from five feet all the way out into 14 feet in the channel. And this one, you know, we've had a couple a little bigger, but that's you know, these and the you know six inches bigger seem to be the dominant size. Small one. That's probably what's hitting me too. Come on. Boys, he doesn't always small though. Oh, nice. There we go. That's a nice fish. Go on, go for the double run. Uh, so Look at like the ball it. coming. Holy I was going to say, that one looks like it might have a little size no, to it. No, this but. one's not, no. But there, he, he had like 20 buddies come oh. up. Oh! Yeah, we're fishing right on the edge of that channel, just off at that 10-foot mark, and they're just sitting out there. You know, and they're very, very similar. Yeah. Hey, Ron's got it. I guess it counts as a double. I still got mine in my hand, and Ron's got one going there. So that'll count as a double. Probably had four fish hit it once each, and the last one you got them. There's just <laughs> so many of them. Oh, that one's a little bigger fish. You want a net? Uh, I think I can get him with a net. He's that looks like a good fish. Look at that. I'm scooting that across the top. They're just pounding it coming across. Oh, he got it. Pounding it coming across the top. So does that count a triple where I got rid of mine, you still had yours, and I got another one? Would that be a triple? I, I, got it. I was reeling in to grab that net for you, and this was right up on top, and I could just see them coming after it, chasing it. And this guy decided he'd do a visitation to the boat. Get another one. Working get, on it. You got time. Oh, it's a baby. That's the smallest one for today. 
and the breeze, I don't know if there's an outgoing tide, but the breeze and the current have got us pointing down river. Yes, sir. He's a loner. I don't see anybody with him, considering all the times I get hit over there. Size? No, he's in that. Huh? No, he's in that low end. Yeah, standard size. They'd be great on a medium rod, but then you'd be worried about having a, a big one hit it and just overpowering everything or taking too long to play the fish, which is just as bad. So. Yes. Because if you get into them, it would just be a hoot on a medium rod. Well, they're getting that current, boys. They really can. Oh, they can they use it, eh? They can leverage that current big time. He's not very big, but she don't know it. He doesn't know it. <coughs> well, it's a fluke, and it's called, I think it's watermelon. It's a little green with a little red and, so, and uh, gold in it. And I'm uh, just doing, a, just doing a, a bit of a twitch with it, coming back. Stays fairly high in the water. Oh, I heard that. I heard that double header. Double header. <laughs> you can't mistake that sound. Size right? He's probably. I, I'm going to scoop him. He's on the edge of. He's on the edge of flipping. Got him. Yep. Yeah. It's a double header because Ron's got one on now too on the other side of the boat. Haven't really caught a lot of followers like that either. No, they don't seem to, do you? No, no, not like small ones. So you get them coming in like that. Nice little fish. That's probably. I would say on the, probably the low end of what we've been catching today. But that's probably, I don't know what's up, probably high 40s, low 50s maybe, but a lot of the ones we got between 50s and the 60 range. This is crazy fishing. We probably got 80 fish today. And it's so great, you're up here, it's a nice, I mean, it's a gorgeous day, a little bit of north wind, but there's lots of boats up here. You know, it's pretty much all catch and release, except, you know, if you want to keep one or two for supper, but it's nice to see everybody out and join the community. And, I think the stripe fish, striper fishery has revitalized this whole area because it's just bringing people up from all over the province. And there's, we saw some guys earlier today out of Quebec. So, I mean, they're down here obviously taking a vacation to come down and do this. And it's a phenomenal fishery. And it's a beautiful, beautiful river. Excuse me while I get this fish. Yep. Excuse me, please. Oh, double header? I hear double one. Oh, has one on the other side, too. Yeah, Ron's right into one. Yours is probably a little bit bigger. Boys, they can really flip your wrist. You get that dorsal and you know you've been stuck. I'd say about the same size. Look at that. Look at the dorsal fin on that. Isn't that a beautiful fish? There we go. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, we come off. That felt good, too. We got another striper. We got a double header, man. Another double header. Another double header. I love today. Today's kind of making up for the other day. Yeah. Today we worked hard, but we got a lot more fish. Yeah. There you go. You can it's always tell when the fishing is good, eh? Yeah. You don't eat lunch. <laughs> it's almost the opposite for me because when the fishing is bad, I tend not to eat lunch. Now I couldn't get that that hook in the, was in the bottom lip of that thing. Yeah. And he flashed around and flopped it right out. One of the things about fishing that's a bit strange, but it applies to all of us when we're fishing, is we all think we caught more fish than we did. You catch 20, you tell your buddies you caught 40. So we keep it honest. We don't have a counter. So what I do is I bring quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies, and we count. So every five fish, we put a nickel down, we take the five pennies away. We get 10 fish, we take the nickel away, we put the dime down. So we can keep an accurate track of how many we actually caught. And today, we are at 92 right now so i mean it's been a crazy day and we've had doubles uh our producer took a break we had triples so i mean it's it's a great day to be out on the water sunny beautiful near machi city we love it up here you can make that 93. that one was tenacious it didn't look big when he went by no hit it three times and oh, we in. got a glimpse of him there we go double header the double header
fat little schoolie. Oh, this is a nice looking fish. That's a nice one. Ready, Rick? Ready with the musky net. Yes. Look at that tank. <laughs> yes, sir. Ron is hammering the big ones today. It's a fat boy. That is a tank. Not nice. The size of color in that thing. That's almost big enough to move two pennies for. But is he ever fat, eh? There you go, son. I t yeah, double header. That's a way to move the pennies two at a time. Yeah, that little double twitch right there when it hits the water. I love that. It's funny the the difference in the in the techniques because you're giving it that little twitch right at the top of the water yep. and I'm letting mine go down to the bottom. As soon as that line starts to sweep ahead, I just give it a little pop and that's usually when they hit it. Yeah. No. I, I don't think I need a net. He's nice. Oh, that was a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell when I when I go to flip them and they don't make the side of the boat. You gotta give them a little more bounce. <laughs> Another double on the way. That doesn't look too bad. I don't think I'm going to flip them. You got another one under him too. Yeah, if that was small mouth, we'd be out of our mind trying to get a tube or something down on top Great. of that follow fish. Uh, yeah, this one's a good size. It feels good anyway. I'll give you a hand. I haven't even seen him yet. Oh, that's another big one. So I said the big fish have been coming off that side of the boat. Okay, ready? Born ready. That, oh man, Ron, that's another, just a gorgeous big old Miramichi striper right there. Look Me. at that. Wow, just gorgeous. Let me get a quick peek at her and let her back. I thought she was bigger than that. She's about 60, 63 to 64 that centimeters. Is. Great fish. Look at that size of that fish. Those are striper cup fish right there. <laughs> Holy oh. smokes. What a tank. Wow. Oh, that's a huge fish right there. What about 70? 73 centimeters. Nice. That's the biggest fish of the day for sure. That was one of our bigger fish of the day right there. So well, Ron, if nothing else, we're persistent. That's right. This is our third trip up here in about a week and a half. And, uh, you know, we had fun the other two trips, but this one absolutely is what the mirror machine was all about. We caught a pile of fish, gorgeous day, you're right down the heart of Miramichi City. Just can't ask for much more in New Brunswick. It's a world-class fishery, and we enjoy it every time we come up. Hope you enjoy the show. Yep, great show, great fishing.